We are all familiar with double-edged safety razors, such as this one, the Flexi from Pearl. By the way, somebody is sending me a Rex ambassador to put this up against. So I'm going to have an A and B sometime soon. Thank you. I'll tell you more about that coming up. But a couple of years ago, I don't even know when now, somebody hit me to the fact that single-edge razors exist. Like these. We've got the Supply SE and we got the Leaf Thorn. So both of these are single edge. They got one blade, they got one edge, not multi, not double, just one. And we're gonna go head to head today with both of these. We'll talk about what they're like to shave with, what blades you use, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'll tell you what I like about both and what I might change about certain things. But anyway, let's do that. I took a shower, did my hair. I'm gonna put some hot water on my face. I'm gonna lather up with some Taylor of Old Bond Street shaving cream and my West Coast shaving brush, which I love, the Jolly Rancher. Put some hot water up on my face. And I'm gonna tell you first of all how you load these things. So if you get the Supply SE, and this is uh, $59, I believe. In some places you get it for a little bit cheaper, maybe a little bit more. This is not the Pro, this is just the normal one. But I believe he's actually sending me a Pro model to try out. So I'll have that for you later. So you, you've seen these before probably. I know I have growing up and I never knew what the heck. I mean, look at this shape. It's kind of a, it's just a strange shape. You know, it's like a, almost like a key on the end and then this thing and then this thing slides. So this is how you load one of these injector razors. And I know this is not news to a lot of you, but here's how you do it. So you grab this thing, stick it in the slot here on the side. Boom. And now I'm not going to do it because I already put the blade in there. And so it sticks out of the side like that. And then you slide this over. This new blade comes in, the old blade falls out the side. That's how you do it with the Supply SE. You can get these for you know less than $10 each. You can get a three pack for 24 off Amazon right now. And you get 60 blades for $24, okay? So let's put this aside for a second and then we'll look at the Thorn from Leaf Shaving. This has been my, one of my favorite razors now since I got it. And as far as a single edge, this is my favorite. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see uh, if I put them up against each other, who comes out on top. Maybe I'll just... Maybe they'll, maybe they'll tie. Let's see. So the thing I like about this one is that it uses just regular old standard razor blades for double-edged safety razors, which you probably already have tons of. So you don't have to go out and buy new ones, which you can. These aren't expensive. But what you do is, and let me put this down for a second. I don't know if you've ever done this before, and I hadn't, and it sounds dangerous, but it's not too bad as long as you keep it wrapped when you do this. Fold the razor blade in half. Now I'm holding it by the ends. I'm not holding it by the sharp bit, even though, you know, there's paper protecting me. I don't want it to cut through the paper. So you just bend it like you're making a little tiny taco until it snaps. And now you have two single edged razor blades. And that's what this one uses. Now this one's got a cool little swing up and away. Check this out. So you unscrew the bottom. This is a one piece razor. The supply is too, but look at that. It twists away so that you can get in there easily. So carefully grab one half of your razor blade. Now, uh, uh, Leaf Shaving does sell little packages, and let me show you what that looks like, of honey snapped uh, single edge razor blades. That's what they look like, and they're very good. And they're just like one of these, just cut in half, but uh, specially made just for them. But anyway, the great thing is just use any old uh, safety razor blade. So this has got a magnet that'll hold it in place. So when you put this on here, I know I've, you, some of you know about this and have seen it before, but I'm doing it for the, the new folks. So that place is right there so you won't fall out. There's a magnet. Twist it back down. Do, 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 do. See the light coming through? Nice. Nice angelic, angelic light. Okay, and then I'm making sure that the blade is straight. It is. And now we come up with this hair. My goodness. We are ready to shave. So I'm going to put some more hot water on because it kind of dried. And then I'm going to lather up. I took a shower beforehand. If you don't have time to take a shower, get some hot water on your face at least. Just splash it up there a few times and oh, soften it up. Taylor of Old Bond Street. Peppermint. I'm a peppermint kind of guy. Oh, love this stuff. I'm wasting so much. I feel so bad. Okay, I'm trying, trying to control it. This would be better if I use a real shaving bowl, wouldn't it? No, it wouldn't be. It would be just the same. But more power to you if you like using shaving bowls. It's one less thing for me to clean up. All right. Don't try to get away. I see you trying to sneak away. You go back on top. 
You go back on top, that's where you go. All right, let's lather up. I think I, I think I just used an electric razor yesterday. I don't remember, man, there's a lot of, I tell you what, Taylor Roll Bond Street, I forgot this. A little goes a long way. I've got way too much soap in this brush. This brush is heavy now. Mm, but it smells so good and it's so rich and creamy. Mm. Everything I've used by Taylor Old Bond Street has been rich and creamy. So round, so firm, so fully packed. Okay, let's shave with two head-to-head, -head, face to face, single edge safety razors. All right. So I'm gonna give the Supply SE the advantage because I like, I prefer shaving on this side of my face, my left, as you're looking at it on the right. And so this is always a little more awkward. So I'm gonna give this the advantage just because I've shaved with this so many times, I know exactly. And I've used this maybe five, six, seven times, not sure. So it's got a, uh, a Nick guard on there and you've gotta put it right, right on your face and just kind of straight down. Now I'm gonna shave the way I always do with anything. I'm not gonna change the way I shave, but make sure you get the angle just right. And you know you've done that when you have not left any trail. See that little trail there? Almost looks like a musical you know, bar across. That's from the little guard. So I know the angle wasn't quite right. I needed to pitch a little flatter. So I like to do, I don't do real long, like cheek length strokes. You can hear the whiskers being trimmed. Get under the nose here. Now this one has a large head on it. Here's one thing that uh, the thorn has over this. I prefer the small head. Do you see? See how thin and small that is? It's just barely thicker than the, than the razor blade. And this one's pretty hefty. But anyway, that's one for them. And so it's easy to get under your nose with the thorn. But what I learned is, you don't have to worry about it too much. I was all worried about getting right up in there, and I will do that, you know, when you re-angle the blade, but even just on its own with the first pass, and the second pass, it does pretty well. Yeah, look for those little warning tracks. If, you, if you're leaving just like little musical note lines, I don't even know what those are called. I'm a, I'm a musician, but I don't read music. Obviously, I can't even describe it. But if you see those, see that? See those little lines? That means the angle's not quite right. It's too much like this, it needs to be more like that. So the blade is, you know, so here's my face. I had it too much like that. I need it more like that. It's really just almost parallel straight down with your face. So there is a slight learning curve with this razor I've found that I didn't notice with the, uh, with the thorn. Okay, now this is not a which one shaved the best only like I may do more swipes with this one than I do with the thorn. It's about overall experience price. Price is the same uh, availability of, of blades and all that stuff. It's easier to find blades for this one. I feel uh, I could be wrong, but uh, okay. So there's the first half done. Now let's get the old leaf, the thorn out leaf shaving. This razor's is cold. I'm going to warm it up a little in my little warm. Now I do feel because I can feel the blade more on this one, that it feels like a more aggressive shave. So as far as someone that's trans, that's migrating from a uh, multiple blade cartridge razor to one like this, this is gonna be a little bit more familiar, feeling a little bit more like a cartridge razor, I think. This one you can feel the blade more, so you, I feel like I have more control. Like, this is like a nimble little sports car like with that head. And this one is like a Honda Odyssey. Great car. We own a Honda Odyssey, but there's a big difference between a little bitty sports car and a Honda Odyssey. They both do the job very well, just in different ways. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? This comparison, as with all comparisons I might do or test or whatever, I want to be as fair as I can. Now, you know, I'm, I am fallible. I am human, so I will do things that are not exactly robotically perfect. So as you're watching this video, just keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm human, am I not human? Yes, tragically so. Failings, all the failings, all the foibles, all the shortcomings. But I, try, I work on it, I work on it, that's the thing. I try to, to 
be better. <laughs> Try to just learn more and, and have more patience. Anyway, let's feel now, shall we? There's the second one. Ooh. As a, this is how I always test. I always do an up and down on my cheeks because that's the easiest part to shave. It's pretty much flat, you know. It's not a bunch of bumps and ridges and things. <laughs> like the, I don't know. And this hair is bothering me. Um, this one, I'm going to have to give it to the supply. It's a little smoother. Now, let me put some water on so I can... Because one was a little bit more wet. Let me just feel them that same way. Yeah, I'm feeling more on the downward with the thorn than I am with the supply. But both very similar. Very close. All right. Let's lather up again. You don't have to do multiple passes, as I always say. But I like to because... And I certainly don't do it every day. But for videos, I like to do it just because... I have more time to spend with y'all and chat. And I know you're out there because I read all the comments. I do. I really do. My dad is now watching my videos. So, hey, say hi to Papa Sinatra. We were talking today about getting him on a live stream. Let me dry my arm off. So, dad, if you're out there, love you. Cheers. See you soon. Okay. Let's go. Let's get this off of here because it's going to bug me. I'm just slightly OCD, you know? All right, let's go across the grain towards the nose, flat against the face. Watch for those little lines. Yeah, I did pretty well on that one. No lines at all. Ooh, that felt good. That felt like, it felt smooth. That's the thing I like about this razor. It's a, both of these, this one's a very heavy razor. This one's a little bit lighter. You know, it's just in size. There's more metal in this one. But this one feels nice and smooth right here. And that's the part that you're feeling against your face, just above the blade. You're feeling this and it's nice. It's a nice, smooth, cool metal. And that's also kind of an indicator that you're doing it right. As Steve Jobs once said, you're holding it wrong. Well, you can certainly hold a razor wrong and uh, not get the best shave that you should out of it. So play around with it a little bit. You know, don't go off one shave only. Which is why I wanted to give this one the benefit of the doubt. Okay, let's go up pretty much against the grain. Of course, the grain direction on my neck is all over the dang place. It's annoying. I'm sure the same is for you or whatever portion of your face is that problematic portion. Yeah, I do. I do like that smooth metallic feel because then, you know, Kind of, that's a good indicator that you're making good contact with the blade. Okay, and plus you'll just you'll be able to feel it afterwards. All right, let's get this one, get the thorn going. I will never truly give up uh, double-edged safety razors. That's for dang sure, because I love shaving with them. And uh, But if you've never tried a single edge, give it a try. You know, try one of these. They're, they're very readily available. And, uh, you know, maybe you watch this video. See, I can get much closer to the actual nostril with this one because the head is so small, and I do like that a lot. The maneuverability is uh, a little bit easier. I'm trying to do an equal shave. Because the point of these videos isn't to be biased. It's just to give an honest opinion. No matter, you know, because both these razors, well, actually, I purchased this one, and I'm being sent another one, and then the Pro model, after he saw my first video, and I had some trouble loading the blade, and he wanted to make sure uh, that we got it exactly right. Uh, but I did purchase that one. I did not purchase this one, and nor did I purchase the, uh, well, I don't have it, the, uh, the leaf, uh, the twig. But I'm not going to show any favoritism. That's uh, that's what I always tell anyone that sends me anything. I'm going to be honest about whatever it is that you're sending me. Okay. Wash off. And let it feel round, too. I'm telling... Well... You know, down here a little bit, the, the thorn is doing better. But over on the cheek, it's very close. But I'm thinking the supply is doing a little bit better on this side. Hmm. The neck, the problem areas all feel about the same. Maybe there's a little bit more right here. Let's do the third pass. And then we'll talk about it. Like I said, these are both the same price as of right now, March of 2022. Happy coming spring break for all of you in school here in North America. And uh, 
What was I saying? I don't even know. God. Uh, I tell you, some days, some days you just, what was I even saying? I don't know. Tell me, tell me in the comments below. Okay. We're all lathered up for the third pass. Now let's, let's see if I have any nicks because you will get nicked. This one uh, does have that guard and they do like to advertise it as being, you know, very hard to nick yourself, but you know, you can always nick yourself no matter what. If you're dragging hot, hot steel, <laughs> if you're dragging hot metal, cold metal, cold steel against your face, you might get cut. Okay, I do a little bit of an angle on this one. And I do feel more confident now with this one that I've used it a few times. Like I said, I don't remember exactly how many times, but... This is a good razor readily available for someone that wants to get into shaving with a double-edged safety razor, but they don't want to jump in whole hog. This is a good stopping point. And then even if and when you do change over, you'll still have a great single edge razor. And the nice thing about the single edge razors, I feel like you shave a little bit faster. Should you shave faster? Probably not, probably not, but I think I do. Trying to get everything. I did get a little nick there, that's all right. You just stop it. Try to hold it off. Like the little Dutch boy, stick your finger in the in the dike there and the blood just... <laughs> Hopefully not, it didn't hit the artery. Okay, so there's that one. There's a third pass. And I will have problem areas that I will go over one last time. But let's do... Oh, I got a nick here too. So I got oh, almost knee equal nicks. This one's a little lower. Oh, and I got a tiny, tiny one right there. Okay. I go slow. Don't want to get any more nicks. I want the level of nicking to be so small that my aftershave stops them. Because sometimes that happens. Unless you've got a real weeper, you know? So nice. What is it about shaving? For me, at least. And I don't know if you've experienced this or not. And I know some of you must have, or maybe you will. It's just so pleasurable. Once you change up, you feel like you have control over what you're doing. When you don't just automatically go to the store, buy the Gillette Mach 3, which is a great razor. Don't get me wrong. Gotta say that kind of stuff these days, right? Gotta qualify everything. Um, but once you, you know, have like discovered something else on your own, it's like, Hey, this, and you've got great results off of it. There's nothing like it. It actually makes the chore and sometimes a real pain of shaving much more fun, much more relaxing. Oh, there we go. Okay. So. Now, done with both sides, with both razors, very minimal mix, very minimal. I put some slightly cold water, not completely. And then I'm gonna feel for the up problem areas, always right here. So I'm gonna do this with the supply right here. Just, you don't even need to reapply any shaving cream if you don't want to. And then I'll get the thorn, the other one. Okay. And one last rinse. And then, oh my gosh, I forgot to get some aftershave. So I'm just gonna use my favorite right here. Cremo, always at the ready. Let me dry my face first. Clean as you go, folks. If you made a big mess around your sink, don't leave the bathroom all wet and soaking wet. Dry it up, okay? Do that for the people you live with. Do it for your mom and dad. Do it for yourself. Don't leave a big mess, because when you come back to that big old mess, you're gonna be like, oh, it's just my old... Free, free dad advice. Cremo, mint, balm. Oh, oh, this stuff smells like a minty old piano. You'll have to just buy some to see what I'm talking about. Oh, love the smell of this stuff. Oh, man. It smells like a Victorian household. <laughs> like you're, you're on vacation and it's a cool day and you go into an old Victorian house that Thomas Edison used to vacation in or something. And that's what it smells like. All right, so let's, let's, let's feel. Let's just see how we did. Okay, for that last one, the problem areas, there's still a little bit, little, little, little bit of, uh, of uh, hairs right here. Here, not so much. 
So let me, if I, let me do this one more time over that same area. You can even do this after your aftershave. Don't do it too much. But if there's still something that bugs you, you know, just take it down. There we go. See? No problem. Now under here, yeah, on this side, even though I didn't need to get all fiddly and under the nostrils, still got the ones that bother me, these little ones. Down here, how about the nick? I'm not even seeing the nicks come back. I mean, they're so small that they take a while to even like show any blood. Up here, this is all, this is very, 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 very close. Very, very similar. So there's not one that is like, oh, it's totally better. These are both really, really good single edge safety razors. They're readily available. Uh, this one is still probably going to be my favorite just because I love the design. It is kind of a weird shape. I'm not a huge fan of that shape. It looks like an old uh, lava lamp, which is kind of cool. But um, I love the small head and I love the fact that it uses regular old razor blades, which I already have you know, plenty on hand. And I just, this is my last blade for this one, so I'm going to have to wait to get new ones. But uh, yeah. So I don't think you can go wrong with either of these. Now, I'll have to tell you how the Pro is on this one, which will be adjustable. Neither of these are adjustable. This one's more aggressive. That's why it's called the Thorn instead of the Twig, which is their least aggressive or less aggressive. And this one's not aggressive at all. You don't even feel the blade. So keep all that in mind. They're both very similar. This one's a little heavier. They're both all metal, seemingly. So that's good. And they come in different colors, too. So but these are the ones I have. But that's it, folks. So very, very interesting. I got a lot more stuff coming. I got that Rex Ambassador on the way to put up against this Flexi from Pearl. I've heard a lot of people say that they prefer the Pearl over the Rex. And they also say the Rex, they didn't copy the Rex. That's from an old design from the 30s, the Gibbs. So I just, it's a rabbit hole. Now I got to get a 30s Gibbs. Somebody please send me the Gibbs from the 30s. And then I'll have the uh, the Pearl, and then I'll have the Rex Ambassador. I'll do all three of them. I'll shave my head. No, I'm not going to shave my head. I'm not going to shave my head. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. I hope this was at least informative, somewhat, maybe educational, maybe entertaining. I don't know. Well, have a great weekend, everybody. Have a great spring break, and I'll see you all very soon.